Everybody wants to travel the world, and we've seen the internet drive tourism in ways never seen before. Hashtag van life is a huge trend on YouTube. Travel influencers are a dime a dozen. And more and more we see travel as less about the experience of visiting a new place, but as an elaborate process of recreating photos that we saw on Instagram. But there is a better way to travel. Hey team, welcome back to another Levi's Save the World Hildebrand episode, the channel where we prove that you don't need to be a hero to save the planet. Today, we're gonna be taking a minimalist look at travel and how maybe doing less is actually more when you're on the road. This episode is sponsored by Sunski Sunglasses. They are a big fan of the channel and we're actually gonna be going and hanging out with them later today at their headquarters here in San Francisco, so stay tuned for that. But first, let me explain why I'm making this video. Now, I would argue that the purpose of travel is to experience new things, change your perspective, and of course, have fun. But with the internet and our society's consumer culture, people are traveling just for the sake of travel or for the sake of an Instagram photo. And that's not great for the environment, but it's also terrible for creating new experiences and doing all those things that we kind of agree travel is all about. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I travel more intentionally through a minimalist lens. See, there's a lot of people out there who like to plan every hour of their trip before they've even packed their bags to leave. And if you are interested in learning about how I pack my bags within a minimalist lens, you can check out the video that I made last week about packing for this trip using only carry-on luggage. But what I think is really unfortunate is when people's excitement gets in the way of them being able to live in the moment when they're on a trip. And I know this from personal experience. Before I ever started making YouTube videos, I went on a five month trip through China, India, and Southeast Asia. Looking back on it, I probably could have spent five months in each of those places, but I had a goal in mind that I wanted to see as many places as possible. And so I just treated them all as one box ticked after the other. The result was a pretty exhausting trip and not really the best experiences in each of those places. Since that time, I've decided that if I'm going to visit a new place, I wanna be there for at least a week. On this trip, I spent a few days in Sacramento and I'm here in San Francisco for a full week. And that gives me a lot of freedom. I don't have to see all the sights in one day and I don't need to rush through something if I randomly find something that I really enjoy. Like for example, yesterday I was wandering along the waterfront when I stumbled upon this group of guys doing a sort of freestyle skate sesh and I just watched them for like a half an hour and it was super cool. Traveling this way gives me the opportunity to see the city at my own pace. Speaking of which, uh, we have a ferry to catch. How you get around in a new place largely dictates how you experience it. And in this particular circumstance, taking the ferry from Oakland to downtown San Francisco, it can actually be a really cool experience too. Whenever I can, I try to go places on my own power. If you're always Ubering from one location to another in the place that you're visiting, you really don't get a feeling for what that place is actually like. Walking around is not only free, but it puts you right in the thick of things. You get to see people going about their daily routines and gain a intrinsic understanding of what the city is all about. Of course, another great way to get around any city is by bike. Bikes are a perfect in-between because you're still interacting with the world around you and connecting with it, but you can get across town at the same time and have a blast while you're doing it. But I would say by far my favorite way to get out of that tourist funnel and see a really authentic version of the place you're visiting is to find some people who live there. Oh, hello, old oh, friend. Wow. Oh, wow. 
Oh, this is Goose. Goose Junction. Goose, hello. Welcome to your own home. Okay, so we are here in the Sun Ski adorable headquarters here. Everybody's working away and I'm annoying them, but we're gonna do a quick tour of Sun Ski headquarters to show you why they're so awesome. This is not gonna be your typical sponsor. Here we go. Our house tour was given by the oh, Sun Ski no. mascot, a dog named Goose, and his best friend, Julia. Hi, I'm Julia McGinnis, reporting live from the design room. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Needless to say, the Sun Ski Gang knows how to make a work environment a fun environment. What? After our little tour, I got a chance to see some behind the scenes of how these frames are conceptualized. They showed me how they come from concept to final product, and they showed me the 3D printer that they used to test them out. Then we had a nice little hot dog party in the backyard, and somehow that devolved into the grape challenge? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Wow! Okay, so because that we were actually successful here in the backyard, we're now going to run it off of the top patio into the backyard for the ultimate success. <laughs> the idea of the grape challenge is to roll a grape down a measuring tape into another person's mouth. Oh no! Damn it! It's really fun. Oh my god. Victorious. After a grape lunch, we went for a hike through the infamous Lands End Park, which was not without its highlights. Oh, uh, well, there you go, that's... See, if I had just come here on my own, I would have not had this whole magical dog walking experience. Actually, this is a, oh. a stinker <laughs> That's a full load. Lands End Park is, for the record, one of the most amazing city parks that I have seen in my entire life. Oh, wow. But what I found more amazing was seeing the community and the values that the Sunski crew shares and getting a chance to hear their stories from this area. Just being in the area with them made the experience more personal. And it made the things that I was seeing more significant than just a view of the bridge that I saw on Instagram. No, that's fine, that's fine. We'll just keep no, it in. We we're we're it. rolling with it. We're rolling with it. <laughs> wow. So indeed, that was me trying to get Ryan to do a staged walk-in sequence and she killed it. So after we were done our hike here, I just wanted to say a few of extra things about Sunski that you might not already know. These sunglasses that I'm holding in front of your face are made of recycled plastic. Stuff that would have otherwise ended up in a landfill and now they're beautiful spectacles that you get to make your whole life better with. This company uh, is a 1% for the planet member as well as this channel, you might not have known that. and. They do a lot to make sure that their company is representing the values of our planet and creating a good product at the same time. You can see the full breakdown that I give for these guys in a video I made a couple of months ago, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna love them. Hello, child. I know Michael's always worried that that we're here. <laughs> Let's take this outside. <laughs> when you get to explore a city with people who actually live there, you get to see it through their eyes. It also produces these incredibly genuine fun moments that you'll never find in a guidebook. I think minimalism is often associated with the material world, but the experience economy is as guilty of buying into consumerism. So the next time that you are planning a trip, Maybe just plan a little less and make sure that you are taking the time to do that place justice and to find those genuine moments for yourself. And if you're packing up for that next trip and you don't have a good pair of sunglasses, I highly recommend that you find yourself a pair of sun skis through the link in the description. Oh man, this is such an amazing sunset. Look at this. <laughs> wow, this is so friggin' beautiful. I am pumped that I made it down here for this trip. 
And that's really what I think traveling should be about, is prioritizing the moments in which you learn something, or you see something in a different way than you have before. And I really learned a fair amount of things this trip about society and uh, about my neighbors to the south as a Canadian. And I don't think that we think about travel in that way anymore. I think we've unfortunately commodified it much the way that we have with the fashion industry. And without getting too existential about this whole thing, I think travel is one of those things that if you do it intentionally, it can actually be a life-changing experience. Because, look at this, people are all lined up on the beach here to watch the sun go down because it's, it's powerful. This is, this is what it's all about. Being on a trip gives you the opportunity to watch all the sunsets. When you're at home in your normal routine, you don't watch the sunset as often. But Levi's pontificating aside, I want to thank you for watching this video, for taking the time out of your busy day to spend some time with me because I really appreciate that. And if you're subscribed to this channel, which you very much should be, then we will see you in the next one.